live. Holy smokes, that's a good song. I'm going to pause it for a second, but uh, yeah, that's uh, we're going to start with that one. That's actually a track from our Get Feedback channel, and if you're just popping in, we're on TikTok now, so uh, we're going to be listening to people's music that they've submitted uh, and give feedback on it. Um, this, uh, you know, people really enjoyed it the last time we did it, so we want to make this a recurring thing. So the more you engage with it, the more you share it, the more uh, you, you know, say hi in the chat, it's going to help us uh, keep doing this. So especially submitting songs in the channel. And if you're on TikTok, uh, check the link in bio to submit your track and we'll take a listen and give any feedback if you want it. And if you have like notes too that you're having problems with certain stuff, uh, that really helps us hone in on the feedback, but happy to listen to anything. I'm here with community manager, man it, Manager James. Commu your neighbor friendly neighborhood community manager James. Community manager friendly hey guys. neighborhood James. Taylor Laurie says hi. Lander Peeps. Yeah, sickle tune on TikTok also. Yeah. It's our first time oh, hey, Taylor. Uh, going on TikTok hi, Taylor. here. Uh give us some uh there's twenty two people viewing there. Um yeah, it's our first time. We just got the streaming set up going for that. So yeah. Yeah, we're on TikTok now. Yeah. I don't know. Am I visible on TikTok yet? No. I think we're doing nice. No, well it looks like no, you're not. So Let's get started because uh, we have about an hour here. We're going to listen to as much stuff as we can and give some helpful feedback, hopefully. Uh, Fable Stale says hi. Hey, Fable. Hey, Fable. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning um, in. Yeah, let's get started. So let's switch views here. And uh, you can see if you're tuning in on TikTok, this is the channel that we're in. The link is in the bio. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, we're able to play music here. And um, we're going to give some feedback on it. So that first track we were playing is called When the Lake Froze Over by Eugene. Um, if you submit it like a WAV file like this in the mm -hmm. actual project, it's it's a much better, but we'll take any links that you have. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll do a quick like introduction. So yeah, go ahead. Um, if, if, you've, if you've seen this before, you know what we're doing, but if you're new here, uh, these are our community channels. Um, we are currently looking in Get Feedback which is where we can provide feedback on your tracks, either someone from Lander, a community member, or maybe even a fancy professional that's in there. Um, if you are at any point uh, when you're making your mix, you, you kind of think, oh, where am I at? This is a great place for you to post tracks. It doesn't matter if it's mid mix or if it's live, like post a Spotify link, post a SoundCloud link, like it's all good and we'll review it. And then every now and then we do a stream and we'll review the music there. And we're also just showing off our community channels and our elite music community, as I said last time. <laughs> yes, the best community on the web. Um, so yeah, let's take a listen. Eugene's in the chat. Hey, Eugene. So let's take a listen to his track. Let us start from the beginning. It's, uh, it's got such a nice vibe. I love that vocal sample on the three there. Let us know in the chat on TikTok what you think of this track. I love it. So. Perfect pitch, so I'm oh, not sure, okay. but you're not perfect. Yeah. Just day.
Lori, I can leave this in the background for hours. Yeah, I'm feeling the same way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's. I'm really enjoying listening to this. Yeah. Um, let's get into some feedback mm-hmm. that might or might not help. So feedback can sometimes be true and sometimes it can be subjective. When we say, you know, a mix change or something, that's based on my perception, based on my headphones. Uh, it's good to check your mix of multiple systems. Subjective really comes to the songwriting, the instrumentation, and the arrangement. Um, there's no wrong way to express yourself, but there is uh, a good way to maybe make your song more attractive to listen to for others. So that's what we're aiming to do here today. C sharp is the key. Mm, C there you sharp. Go. D flat for those who uh, live on the flat side. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> you I like there's less, there's less accidentals in D, mm. D flat. Um, yeah, so first thing I heard from my perspective. I like that guitar. It could come like if if I was to do this, I'd, I would tune down the distortion a little bit and bring Mm -hmm. it a little bit more behind the vocals Mm -hmm. overall up until this point, the mix is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's dreamy. People in the chat are liking it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's fu- it's great. I almost swore it. That's how good it is. <laughs> oh, do not swear. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get pulled. Yeah, pulled. Uh, yeah, don't get pulled. <laughs> There's 104 people on TikTok. Leave us some love in the chat. I don't see any messages yet. Let us know what you think of the track and uh, follow the link to submit your stuff. Yeah. Um, so let's get into this section. So very cool vibe. Nice bass kind of yeah, is that a bass? Uh, Eugene, is that a bass? Like, you playing that or is that a bass? Right now, I'm hearing the snare a bit above the vocals. Mm. You can uh, you can bring it right under and then use a compressor with a, you know, a slightly fast attack time. Let the transient pop through. Um, and then it might sit a bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, you might be able... Oh yeah, definitely. This reminds me of a slightly more electric version of the 2013 uh, album *Sympathetic* by Bernie Leverizon. Oh yeah, this is like what I wanted *Sympathetic*. Oh, like that nice, uh, yeah, like that. Cool. Last thing I could say. You have like a really nice ending here and you like subjective. You could build it a bit more because you're coming in hard here. Right? And if we go here, it's the same thing. So, you know, consider automating other elements, maybe some sustained strings come in near the end to give it more power, you know? Like that's some stuff you can do. Um, yeah, I think just bringing the snare down will help a bit. Um, yeah, if there's any questions, Eugene, you're here in the chat. Oh, he's using an upright plugin, mm. like a, an upright bass plugin. Cool. I hope that helped, Eugene. Let me know if you have any questions since you're here, uh, any specific things. But that's what I would say. Um, really love the track, though. I, I really like it. Like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really, really like it. Yeah. You should, re- if you want to, you should implement the changes that Anthony are suggesting. And if you have a Lander Studio or any Lander distribution services, you should definitely release this with us. Yeah. Yeah. Full circle. <laughs> Full circle, baby. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. I hope that helped, Eugene. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, yeah, fun, fun song from the car ride. Some of those background vocals from mm. the beginning. Yeah, it's really chill. And it's funny. That little sample, one, two. Bah, I actually used a similar thing last night in, in one of my productions. Mm. Like a little like bell kind of. 
Like mm. it's cool. It reminds me of like a submarine scanning. That's like what it was. What I hear. Yeah, totally. It mm. gives it a lot of forward momentum, uh, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. But yeah, thanks for submitting, Eugene. It's a great start. Yeah, it's amazing. You know what? I think. Thank you, Eugene. There we go. I said, hey, let's clap for Eugene, guys. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Give it a good clap. <laughs> All right. Um, you, you pick. You're the host uh, here. On oh, the okay. I James said, is on the thumbnail. So. I, am on, I am on the thumbnail. Okay, yeah. what are we doing next? Okay. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. All right. Oh, if you go slightly up, Leon yeah. submitted a track called What They Deserve, Leon and Pharaoh 2. It's okay. Um, yeah. Let's open this up. Uh, oh, cool. the wait! Oh, <laughs> it's a spicy wait. It's like up and down. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you this one story about this amazing lady. It's my mother. Like, she taught me how to steal uh, the collection plates from the church. Leon. But, like, she's still a good lady. Yeah. Regardless. Uh. And I'm not bad either. Brand new fresh prints, the gat new fresh clip. Uh-huh. I knew Jersey drive with the body, cause I'm that sick. The grand wizard whipping infinity, Mr. Kitchens. Yep. And I pack with the biscuit, okay. I deliver with the chickens and the quickens. Prodigy, survival of the fittest. Should be thinking outside the box. Now see if you can fit it. Start with me, I finish it. Guns, my apprentices, I lock it. Buy it all the time, I'm with the shits. Now you could call me Bob Ross, Mr. Ventriloquist. I put the arm in your head like Miss Piggy shit. A couple rounds, the pound wheelchair grip, the big caliber break you down. This a rhythmic tick. I am divine, I am limitless. I am always listening. I wear rules of the stones and I'm always talking to my Benjamins. Okay. The difference is I ignore them. Money cuts me in foreign. Uh. With a freak, it just cuts me out in Greek just this morning. I'm Kong with the Scrabble, so you don't want a tassel. From bronze to a platinum, you hung from a scaffold. God beam from the top, bomb of your album, blast off, baffle, rap it in all fragile hats and give you flowers. Nice. This is mm. really good. Mm-hmm. The, uh, I mean, the elements are there in terms of the the flow of the vocalist. The lyrics are great. Um, I think it just needs a boost in production in terms of how hard the beat is hitting. Now that's subjective. Like maybe you want it to be more chill. Um, and the vocals seem to really be on top of it instead of meshed with it, which is. I think the most hardest mm-hmm. thing to do uh, when you're producing hip hop, like getting the vocals to sit powerful while the beat also stays powerful. Mm-hmm. Um, and this can come with a range of things that you could do to make it better, like using better samples on the beat maybe, mm. or mixing it up a bit, um, getting better vocal takes, using a better microphone, I think could help. Wicked's prodigy, survival of the- Yeah, there's like- Yeah, can there's, hear it. It's it's hard to like it's even in video if you don't grab the best source footage you're gonna have a harder time color mm-hmm. correcting editing same with audio if you don't grab the best audio signal it's gonna be harder to mix um, that's why working with samples is easier because you can just swap them out but when it comes to vocals you really want to try to get the best absolute possible capture that you can mm-hmm. um, once you do have that um, you can you know grab plugins that'll you know, Plugins like Lander FX Voice are great for just putting something on, mixing it in, and not worrying too much about compressor values or EQs. There's some really good rap settings in there um, that you can try. Uh-oh, did we lose audio? Hold on, I'm having a technical difficulty here. It came through my uh, laptop for some reason. Did it just come through my laptop? See if you could oh. fit it. Start with go. me, I finish it. Guns, my apprentices, I lock it. Fire it all the time. I'm with the shits. Now you could call me Bob Ross, Mr. Spin Triloquist. I put the but the lyricism and flow are, are really great. Yes, I really just, like the flow. The beat needs to come up a bit while not getting in the way of the vocals, and that's going to be the hardest part. Mm-hmm. And like, you can, you know, I would suggest hiring a pro, getting some more in-depth feedback on this, or even having someone kind of remix it for you and uh, showing you along the way when they remix it, what decisions they made, so you can learn a bit more. I think that would really help. Um, but the musical elements LA, are all, deep with the all water, really great. Shit evaporate, bust down half the way, bleeding like half a day. Right up the straight, straight and all time. Like, I wouldn't be, make I was playing like GTA see online, go. and I changed it to like the hip-hop station. Yeah, I, I could hear this song there. That's like, like the vibe it fits. It goes very well. Yeah. Yeah. It's just getting the production uh, value mm-hmm. up to make it better. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all it needs. Just some spice. Yeah. Um, and to improve your music production skills, you can take a course on Land to Learn. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you don't want to like mm-hmm. hire someone, 
there are courses on mixing hip hop in the in the learn section on Lander. Mm-hmm. Shows them like you. Mo- I'm using the wrong mouse. <laughs> Yeah, let us know on TikTok what, what you're thinking of this track. I'm like ignoring YouTube now. Sorry, guys. Um, I've got them both open. It's I was fine. thinking the same things Eugene said about his track. The flow is really yeah. good in this. I like how he changes up the cadence every few bars. Um, yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's very... Uh, there, was, um, there was a question earlier that says, is the vocal fighting with the guitar... Oh, this is on Eugene's track. Is the vocal fighting with the guitar or is it fine for the vibe? Is that... How so to kind of make the more general? How what's like something when you listen to a track and you hear like the the vocals and you know like the guitar or the bass is, fi- is they're fighting too much? Like what would you recommend for someone to do? Um, what's yeah. like a quick fix? The best thing to do in that situation, if you want them to both be really prominent and you don't want to sacrifice one to the for the other, is to use um, a dynamic EQ mm-hmm. and you side chain the frequencies of the vocal to the dynamic EQ on the guitar. So whenever the vocalist comes in, it bumps down the frequencies on the guitar Mm. that are fighting with the vocal. So that's usually your mid range area. Uh, It's gonna just kind of push it down without being too intrusive. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do that a lot uh, in my stuff. If if there's just like a specific area to kind of hone in on. Is that one you would recommend people using or uh, does it come like stock with a lot of doors? Um, Well, what do you use? I use the Fab Filter. That's mm-hmm. like a pro EQ. Mm-hmm. Um, there are free versions out there of dynamic EQs. Um, I can't remember. You could use like an Ableton multiband compressor mm-hmm. and sidechain that. Um, but there are usually free options in each DAW um, to check out. Multiband compressor, dynamic EQ. Kind of the same thing, kind of not. Mm-hmm. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's move on. So, well, I just want to hear the end. Yeah, I'm going to find another And, like, track. in terms of hip-hop form, that's something I'm not well-versed in, like... White, banged in traffic, and bang on it was myself who was the only one shit is only but got son good. Tad late, heat with the water, shit evaporate. That's something I don't feel qualified to give feedback on. In terms of the flow and the, the mm. timing, I, I can kind of hear that it's, it's really good. Mm-hmm. And just upping the production value is going to be mm-hmm, great. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have people commenting in the waveform of other people. I think just so they get featured on the stream, mm-hmm. which is, uh, I appreciate it. It does appear in the, the channel as well, like when people do that. Oh, do so, they? Okay. Yeah, it does both. Nice. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Bean says elements need to be glued together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that just comes. Bean knows what's what. Yeah, uh, you know, doing I, your mix. Just, yeah. yeah. Bean gets it. Okay. All right, so where are we headed? Um, I'm trying to, um, if you're in the chat. Oh, that isn't oh, a reply yeah. to that. It's just me viewing it weird. Okay. Yeah. No, cool. so if you're in the chat, I see some people have submitted tracks, but I do just want to grab some stuff that was already in there. I'm trying to find like wave, like, um, um, we could do this one if you go up, Zaid, because it's, um, I just want to do the. Zaid, okay. So you can... Yeah. I think it was further up. Starling. Starling. What's the date? April twelfth. April twelfth. Yeah. Starling. People are gonna leave the Starling. 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 There we go. There we go. Good. I didn't have any more hooks. That was it. If you someone clip that, if you can sample it, I don't mind. Yeah, if you want to sample it, James just, will pay you to sample I, it. You, <laughs> just credit me if you do. <laughs> All right, let's, let's take a listen. Mm-hmm. When he looked at plants, he could just see them, rather like Albert Hoffman before him, you know, bursting with life, bursting with color.
right, let's uh, let's let's dive in. <laughs> so I just with my accent. Yes. People thought I was saying Stalin, like, like oh no, Joseph Stalin, yeah. Stalling. I just I'm too. I've been lived in Canada for too long. The accents. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Clip that up, guys, if you want. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's lots of cool things you could do. With that. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get into this. This is a nice title on this, by the way. It sounds like a sick break. You're just kind of contemplating stuff, like mm. you know. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's dig in. I really like the motif at the beginning, um, and then coming in here, really nice ambient vibes. Mm. I don't know why it's doing that. It's like going in between sound cards. I'm just going to scan through because it seems like you've kind of copied the same section twice. Mm -hmm. Go. Check our connection. I'm just going to go over here. Cool. So. The first piece of feedback, so I used to kind of compose music like this, kind of mysterious, ambient, uh, cinematic a little bit. Um, there's a lot of low end buildup and you can hear it on the elements that don't necessarily have low end. So I'd consider cleaning a lot of that up where you're kind of either shelving the low end down on some things or just cutting it out completely. Um, and then it's gonna allow the stuff you have in the bottom to really breathe. Um, and then when you're thinking of like, A lot of your pad sounds and like the sustain sounds, consider panning those because I'm hearing them in the center. Um, but you have a lot more room to work with if you're panning like one pad left a little bit, one pad right, you're gonna bring out this whole world of, uh, of your mix that mm -hmm. you didn't have there before. Um, and James, James gave some good feedback here. Um, I've been taking some of your courses. <laughs> oh, yeah? You've been taking the courses. Yeah, I've been taking the courses. This is not, yeah, not to make this too salesy, but yeah, I've been taking some of the courses on Land Learn because as a community manager, I feel like I need to know what the, my community is doing, our community is doing. Right, right. So, yeah, I also wanted to use this as an example of how to give people feedback right. because the feedback is like timestamp time stamp specifically. specific. <laughs> Oh, words. Yeah, that's the that's <laughs> the that's the benefit of submitting a wave file in the Thanks. channel. There, um, yeah. is that uh, you can comment on specific parts. Yeah. Um. Let's let. Yeah. So you had some you had some good feedback. A bit samey. So it is tempting when you write different sections to copy and paste stuff just to make a track longer. What I would do in that case is that's fine. Just copy and paste some of the elements and that new elements mm. on top um, for a different section, mm -hmm. especially if it's not with vocals. You can get away a little bit uh, when you have a song with vocals because it's going to be a different verse. Mm -hmm. But you most of the time, even those, you'll find that the second verse is a little bit different than the first, either adding more elements, taking some away, um, automating different levels. Um, let's go to... I'll listen to this part. Too. Ooh, very nice. Nice. And here's an idea for you. Take that motif and introduce it in a, I do this all the time. I'll take something that maybe I writ, wrote for the second half of the song, and then I'll start to introduce it in little snippets in the beginning. So like if you can find somewhere here where it's just da, what is it? Da, 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 dun, da, 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 And it's just like maybe a delay or a reverb tail. So then when people hear this motif come in full, they have that, um, that feeling of oh i've heard this before and it makes them feel rewarded kind of because it's coming back in so strong and you had it in the first kind of just teasing it a little bit um that, that's a really good um compositional tool <laughs> Thank you. 
no, that's yeah. I mean, it's there. Um, just those mix, you know, mixed decisions, uh, cutting the low end, um, make, carving space in all the elements because you have a lot of mid rangey elements. You have pads, you have strings. Just make space for them, pan them out, um, send them to reverbs, uh, stuff like that. I'm sure there's that going on already, but just some more food for thought. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was great. Let's listen to something more recent. So yep. I'm going to pick one now. Uh, well, I was going to suggest um, people in chat. Um, yeah. Because I know that there's, uh, I know that Joaquim's in chat and he nice. submitted something just, uh, it's called uh, Stuck in 2021. Just okay. there, just down. Oh. Uh, yeah, that one. Much love from Sweden. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Raj, oh, wait. Raj Fenn, Montreal. I think that was sweet. I think that was, I don't, tell me if my Swedish is any good. <laughs> I was like, what? Raj Fenn, Montreal. Okay. Know. Hi from Montreal in Sweden. Oh, that's that's cool. I didn't know that. How do you say it? I th- I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Haj Fren. Okay, let Montreal. us know uh, on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what you think? Criticize my Swedish. Yeah. If anyone's Swedish, uh, if anyone's Swedish, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've not listened to this either. Haj Fren, Montreal. Cool. Hey, 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 okay. So go stuck in 2021. I know it's been so fucking long. Groovy. I, 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 I relate. <laughs> time will make a difference, but it hasn't changed at all. Now I'm dancing. I really like this. I really like this. Yeah, yeah. We said that about every track we've yeah. ever reviewed. Yeah. But <laughs> um, yeah, like really, really great vocal performance, great songwriting. I've said this that I'm still in March 2021. Um, mm. You know, I'm not aging. Oh, I. <laughs> I aged so much during lockdown. Oh, yeah. um, um, before we get into our lockdown story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to get into my lockdown story. Let's give some feedback. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really like the radio effect here. Mm-hmm. And it kind of... The, the usual effect that I've heard is that they'll cut right in to the high quality stuff instead of transitioning in. And that's up to you. That's subjective. I think when you cut into it, it, it's a bit more impactful. But it's a cool, creative decision that you've made. Um, mm-hmm. That's oh, that's that's a really good point. No, it's been so fucking long. This, th- the style this is in, like a pop kind of funk esque. I think mm-hmm. your kick could use more smack, and that's just subjective. I'm just picturing more of like a. A, a smackier kick. It's a lot of uh, bottom end, mm-hmm. but I don't hear it kind of hitting. Um, you might have that problem if people are listening on smaller devices, mm-hmm. um, especially earbuds or uh, or phones. There's a plugin um, that will do that. What's that called? EQ, um, that like it sends. I, I asked this last time. Oh, the emulation one. There's the emu- There's an emulation plugin that you can always use to check how it will sound on other devices. Um, yeah, that's Mix Checker. Mix Checker. That's thank in you. Lander Studio. Yes, I would recommend everyone using Mix Checker, like yeah. for, to get your to get feedback uh, on your own music quickly. 
Yeah, or just like, yeah, bounce it to the Lander desktop app and then grab the mobile app and it's on your phone right away. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. I'll, I'll play it on my stereo system at home and then on my kitchen speakers and then in the car. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I'll take a week break because I'm angry. Yep. <laughs> and then I come back to it and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's keep going. King time will make a difference, but it hasn't changed at all. Now I'm dance. Yeah. I, the vocals for me are sitting just above the music. Like the toms, that's a cool fill, but it's not really poking through. The difference, but it hasn't changed at all. No. You know what I mean? And then it's a really, it's a really nice transition. Yeah, I'm hearing you could have just a bit more high end on all of the instruments, kind of. It feels like they're a little bit muddied, but that might also help just bring the volume up a little mm. bit. But while being conscious of not overpowering your vocals, that's always the hardest part when you're mixing. It's just mm-hmm. like, especially on different systems, because to you, maybe your vocals are sitting nicely on your monitoring setup, but then on these headphones, mm-hmm. um, yeah. And then I think this could be mastered a bit more heavily from Mm -hmm. what i'm seeing here like it's not uh it doesn't seem you know competitively loud even though you shouldn't worry too much about that but don't be afraid to put it a bit louder Mm -hmm. um i think that'd be good but let us know has uh, it been mastered i don't know if it's an mp3 file so you never know you never know yeah um it looks like the peak is hitting here Mm -hmm. and like here yeah, but it doesn't look like it's been mastered. So oh, okay. maybe that maybe they're not there yet. So mm. yeah, let us know if we're getting too far ahead of ourselves here. Yeah. Um, what time is it? Okay. Well, uh, let's uh, let's keep it going. But again, sorry we can't listen to the whole thing. And like, uh, I will do it uh, on my time uh, mm-hmm. just to get to other people. But mm-hmm. uh, overall, from what I've heard, great vocal performance, great songwriting, great lyricism. Mm-hmm. Um, just little things in the production is going to really make it shine. Um, mm-hmm. But I would say it's fine to release just to get out there. Mm-hmm. Um, you can always come back to it right and do a remix. Mm-hmm. So no shame. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Lori, who's been really active in, oh, the, yeah. in the chat. So this is Taylor Lori. Just a, a very, you know, yeah, if I, don't, I don't like to pick favorites of community members, but I think Taylor's top five. Top five? Top five oh, community so members. Am I Ta- top five? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't count at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Yeah. Uh, there were some questions in chat about the type of formats to post. Um, yeah. You can post whatever you want, like post your uh, your artist link or Spotify link, but simply for when we're streaming, like um, audio files like this is just easier because uh, yeah, it just means it, we don't yeah. have to load another page. And um, But yeah. Yeah, I don't even think I'm logged in on Spotify right now, so we get hit with ads. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can only preview the first 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go for Taylor. Mm-hmm. Mashy, bashy mumbles. So this is a this is a lander master. Oh, she's on break right now. we get to it yeah he said uh on the last track it's not been mastered just trying to do everything on my own just got a feel for mixing yeah great start for the mixing 
don't be afraid to bring uh, that kick, the smack of the kick around like six to eight K mm-hmm. on the kick or just, you know, switching samples with mm-hmm. with more smack. If if that suits your song, mm-hmm. uh, subjective, but that's what I would do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Taylor, I uh, hope you're on you're on break right now. Yeah, I think Taylor's still. OK, has. let's hurry up before she has to go. All right. Um, Taylor, tell us how long your break is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so th- the added bonus of submitting an audio file is that I can download it um, and open it up in Reaper um, just to show you guys something. Because the composition and the harmony and the bass and the, the groove is really cool. Um, but there's one thing that I want to show you, and it's, it has to do with the bass. And I can do this by just doing this. So. All right, cool. I might have to set my sound card preferences mm-hmm. here. But. Stalling, yeah, stalling, stalling again. Oh, it stalling. is stalling. stalling. You didn't have to do that. Turn this off. So I'm noticing with that bass, you're getting a, it's really, really loud. Um, one thing you can do if you're mixing on stuff that doesn't really portray your bass well, they don't say to mix with your eyes. But I use this as a reference to see where there's overflowing energy, and then I can kind of hone in on using my ears again in that area. So this is a free plugin, Span, a uh, spectrum analyzer. I set the parameters to be long, so it's a long amount of time. I select quarter of an octave so I don't get too specific with the frequencies. And you'll see something like this. <laughs> So you see that bass is like, it's really loud. And then when you master it, uh, the bass is hitting that limiter first and Lander can only do so much. Um, so you're kind of maxing out the volume of the rest of your song. Mm-hmm. So this is hitting the limiter and then everything else is being drowned out. So you can really get by by turning that rate down. So it's sitting around right here. And another thing you can do is just check your kick and how your bass and kick are playing. This is another opportunity to either use like a, a compressor that ducks the bass when the kick hits or a dynamic EQ that just ducks the frequency of the bass when the kick hits if you want the kick to be in your sub bass range because you can't have both things at once. It's going to get really muddy. Um, but you could just start by turning that bass down and I think everything else in the track is just going to shine. So let's actually do that. I only have the master, but mm-hmm. I'm just going to throw on an EQ. And uh, we'll just turn the bass down with the shelf, and then you can you can, you'll hear the whole song just open up. So here's without the EQ. Mm-hmm. See the balance now is just like oh whoa, that's a brand new song. So yeah, don't be afraid to use this uh, for, you know, just see where certain areas are building up and see and try to focus in on hearing it and then make the decisions. Um, I really try not to make decisions based on what I'm seeing, but you could also make arrangement decisions using this. Like right here in the 150 to 300 range, there isn't a lot happening, and that's okay. But if you want it to sound a bit more full, you can consider adding elements that'll fill that out or boosting certain elements of certain instruments. So you could use distortion on your bass to get it to uh, fill this, or you can you know, bring up those frequencies on your kick drum without it getting too muddy, of course. Um, or add like a higher bass that kind of follows your bass. So like a, a lot of people do, like a, they'll add a low bass and then they'll add a mid bass that kind of sits on top and it just covers this area, mm-hmm. um, it's going to get you a fuller sounding mix. Taylor actually said, um, I turned the drums, uh, wait. I actually turned up the drums because I thought they were too low. They're on a separate channel. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I hope that helped. Um, let's, sorry, we, we only dug into like, let's listen to a bit more, so. I'm not sure what effect is on your vocals. It sounds like a phaser or something. Uh, let us know. Um, yeah, if you like that, go with it. I'm not too sure if having it on the whole time is the best option, but that's subjective from my opinion. 
water chorus. Cool. Mm -hmm. So maybe consider automating the on and off switch of that. So like for certain sections, it's on certain sections, it's off. That's going to, you know, add more interest to specific sections, right? It's just why whispering hello to Yeah, and I think the snare could come down. Like I'm hearing a lot right here. It's just why whispering yeah. hello to the on the is fragrant, soft and gently plunging. So nice. We'll love to so here's without the key. Song, I'll be honest with you. It sounds there, like there's a little bit of distortion on the vocals too. Not like a good kind. It's kind of like a toppy end kind of thing. So take a look at that. But like the lyricism and the composition is really just great. Like I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm just kind of like swaying to it. It's nice. And my play button's not working. Anymore. I don't know what's going on here. What's... It's like my sound card keeps turning on and off. Cool. I hope that helped, Taylor. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks for submitting your the the man's ears hear everything. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it just I always thought like when I first started, like oh my god, like, and I had a bad setup for hearing stuff too. I had bad monitors. And mm -hmm. like, I bought some good speakers, and the the more time I spend doing it, I just it's just time spent mm -hmm. really. So just keep just yeah. keep doing it. Take courses from Lander, obviously. Mm -hmm. and, uh, You'll get different perspectives on listening mm -hmm. and then just follow that advice and try to hear it yourself. And your ears do get better, like your perception mm. of things really. Like if I could just go back in time and tell myself, yeah, you're going to, it's okay. You're going to be able to, to hear more and more. And I, it's a, uh, it's always, you know, it's an unlimited learning mm -hmm. path, right? I'll never get uh, mm -hmm. up to the best. Taylor also added that they wanted it to sound wet. Right, right. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's hard with vocals. It, there's a balance, um, especially like with reverbs and stuff. You have to be careful, um, especially when you're mixing on monitors and then headphones. Headphones, you too, you tend to add too much reverb, and then mm. monitors, you tend to add too little because if you're on monitors, you're listening into a room that has reverb on it. It's kind of oh. funny. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, when you say it, it makes it makes sense. Yeah, you know. Is this okay? Let's close this. <laughs> uh, is this working? Cool. Let's go over here. Oh, I get it. Now. Oh, she wants it to. That's so the title of course, she wanted to yeah, sound yeah, wet. Yeah. It's yeah. called wet. <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes. Ugh. Oh, it's been a long week. <laughs> my mic's attached to my headphones. I think I'm a little stuck there. Nah, I see. Yeah, I mean, s try to grab. There's there's really nice mics out there for very low cost now. Like, I think one of these is only like. Yeah, sh it, this is the Shure, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like a Shure SM7, Shure SM7. Uh, podcast mic, but it's like the the little brother of it, and it sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. There's some good stuff in the Lander blog on, on, on choosing the right mic and, mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that, and the YouTube channel. Oh, yes. Cool. Let's uh, let's get to a couple more before we have to end the stream. Yep. Uh, let's go to something recent just to... Yeah, I think Wu Jun is in chat. Okay. So yeah, Wu Jun, say say hello. Say hi, Wu Jun, if you're here. I don't know how to say it. I think they said they're from Korea. I don't, oh, nice. Yeah. I have not been to Korea. Have I haven't. You? No, I, it's on my bucket. It's on my bucket list. Nice. Yeah. I watch a lot of Korean television. Uh, though yeah. Oh, yeah singles inferno great show cool um what's the uh, physical 100 that's a good one and i'm really into k-dramas i watch uh hotel de luna that's a good one hometown Ch oh hometown cha 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 that'll make you i'm gonna stop back because this isn't a nice <laughs> yeah i'll have to <laughs> sync with james uh later and um come and join me on our other stream where i just talk about k-dramas <laughs> 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 Let's go.
so good. <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, it makes, it, blew my mind. It that's makes so me good. feel like I can conquer anything. Uh, th- amazing. I can just feel the energy going up with us now. I want to hear that like when I like in the gym at like 5 a.m. just to like really get the. Yeah, really. Like I can set that as my alarm clock. Mm. And, like ready to tackle the day. You know, like. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Obviously, I'm a fan. What I would do to make it better is don't be afraid to bring the drums down quite a bit without losing the impact. So you have a lot of cool lead stuff happening here, but it's kind of like overpowered by the kick. And the kick's got this overtone to it that uh, it's texturally sounds cool, but it might be doing some damage to the other elements that should be featured, right? Like that, sh- like those lines, which are super cool. Dun, 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 dun. That should be over top of the kick, um, with the kick still retaining the impact that you want for this kind of style. And I'm missing any sort of, besides the kick having the bass elements, I'm missing any sort of like low end bass, which could really provide a really nice foundation to this. Let's just listen to some more, just in case. I'm uh, not hearing it. It sounds like the bass is like that. Dun, 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 dun. But uh, I think that I heard bass somewhere. Anyway, let's keep going. There we go. There it is. Yeah. Naughty. Nice. Naughty, nice naughty bill. bass. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah, just the, just the, bring the drums down uh, without getting too quiet, and you'll still get that impact you're looking for, um, but it won't have overpower the other stuff. Mm-hmm. You can actually say, how is the mix hearing on a speaker? How is the mix hearing on a speaker? Yeah, we have headphones on. Yeah, so. we have headphones. Yeah, but again, mix checker. It's plug-in available. In you want to uh, try it? Let's try mix checker. See if it works. Oh, okay. Yeah, screw. All right. Bring the drum. We gem. We're gonna. So we're gonna download this, and then we're gonna put this uh, with a plugin that is available on Lander Studio called Mix Checker. I posted about it in the channel actually a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, you, it's a great way of checking like how your audio sounds uh, in uh, different formats. Where did this go? Are you you're in desktop. Downloads? Probably downloads. I always mess that up, man. I download stuff and I just go somewhere. Yeah, new jack. Swing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Stalling, stalling, stalling again. Thank ba, you, ba, James. Ba, ba, na, na, na. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Do I even have? Yeah, I have it. Yeah. I don't have that much stalling material. I know it's really certain uh speakers you're going to have what you want and certain um other systems it's going to be a balance issue um and that's so it's happened to me so many times um once you can f- and this is helpful if you check the mix in mono too like we could we could chuck it in mono and i'm i'm sure the drums will just keep come forward even more um i think there's a where's the mono button here I'm using the wrong theme in Reaper. It doesn't matter. I, oh, there's a mono button on mix check. What am I doing? Mm-hmm. Actually, this is a this is a cool thing. So consider, and I, I was gonna say this, but now that I'm clicking the mono button. I'm not hearing a lot of difference between mono and stereo. Mm. So that means you have a lot of room. Again, pan certain elements out, and you're going to have a much wider stereo image, which is going to make it sound more full, more professional. Um, That'll always be good. So let's check out phone. Car? Okay. 
Yeah, basically, yeah. Mess with the drums, bring it down, mm-hmm. um, and then consider panning, adding some stereo width to your track um, uh, to make it sound a bit more full. Mm-hmm. But yeah, <laughs> some of the phrases in there are so great. It's like, ding, 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 ding. That's great. Mm-hmm. Cool. One more before we hit the road. What do you think? Yeah, one more. I, I've picked every single one. So you I picked p- one, didn't I? Uh, oh, you pick one. The last one's yours. Okay. Um, Who's here? Brigadier Pike. Paco. Brigadier? Game Brig- Boy. I like it. Uh, so you're also Francis- Francisco? Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. I'm Francisco. Hey, Francisco. Oh, b- Brigadier Paco. Brigadier Paco. Player number one. <laughs> nice. Played with me like a Game Boy. Woke up feeling like I'm finna regret Game it Boy. again. Game Boy. Got me feeling like a Game Boy. Woke up next to you, it's fucked the bottle of the view. Why the hell do I fall for all the shit that you do? Riding some the wall, but I can't seem to read the room. If I got a better you, it still wouldn't be you You're controlling, you get jealous I'm impulsive, I get anxious You know how to push my buttons, elevator I'm a sucker for you, your attractions Cause you played with me like a Game Boy Game Boy Who hurt you, Francisco? Game Boy To write such lyrics Who hurt you? You need to talk about it Game Boy 155, by the way I like that breakdown. That's mm-hmm. cool. Dun, 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 dun. Nice motifs in there. Um, let's uh, let's go to the beginning again. And uh, I think my overall impression is that the vocals sound clean. Like the recording sounds great. You, you tune them. That's great. Um, I really think there could be other supporting elements below uh, your vocals. Um, let's listen. I'm feeling like a game boy. Woke up next to you, it's fucked up, but I love the view Why the hell do I fall for all the shit that you do? Riding some the wall, but I can't seem to read the room If I got... But yeah, if you want to keep it simple, that's good too I think the vocals might just be a bit too on top of the beat So it's kind of like drowning out what you have going on Um... Mm-hmm. The better you, it still wouldn't be you You're controlling, you get... And there's some level inconsistencies in the voice. Just slap a compressor on there. Lander Effects voice is great if you mm-hmm. don't know what you're doing and like just blend it in a little bit. Uh, I'm impulsive. I get anxious. So right here you have you have the intro. Kind of introduces the motif. And then you have like a verse thing. Woke up next to you. Um and then you have another verse here. Yes, I'm impulsive. I get anxious. You know how to push my body's elevator. I'm a sucker for you, your attractions. I, I just think you could, like, I mean, it's subjective in terms of the genre that you're going for, but you could beef up the arrangement. Uh, like a, I think there's like a bass, like there's a bass element missing to me, like a, like a low end. Like you've got the drums, you have the synth motif, dun, 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 and then you have your voice. Um, you could have some harmony in there. You could have some bass underneath, and then you break it down here. Just drums. I'm impulsive. I- don't be afraid to add some percussion. Um, all subjective, by the way. Like if you want to keep it simple, that's great. They just said in the chat, lyrics are only halfway done. I'm still working on it. So this is a work in progress mix. Nice. You could even add a bigger riser here. Really oh, like yeah, for sure. You go hard. Like one of those. Mm-hmm. Uh, up to you. Nice placement of that Game Boy sound. <laughs> I 
scared. I'm scared of rises. <laughs> Same. Well, yeah, right. Like music, musically, it's, it's it's easy to be scared of because like if you don't if you don't deliver at the end of a riser, everything mm. falls flat. Mm. Oh so, yeah. So you you really have to deliver at the end, and there's different ways of doing that, mm. like crashes and like big hits uh, at the end of a riser. <laughs> Yeah, be confident with it. I guess it's just like how much they use it, how comfortable you feel. Now I'm thinking, don't be afraid to use that motif. Like I said to someone else, um, take a fraction of that and bring it in sooner. So you got like. With that bass sound. And then you're going to have that low end that you, uh, you know, that's kind of missing there that might add a bit more fullness to, to your mix. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I hope that helps. Let's see. And I guess you're kind of just finishing the end here. Yeah, they said it was cool. a work in progress. Yeah, so yeah. I imagine, um, I imagine it's not quite done. But that's nice. I like the, I like the, the in the in progress mixes. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially if uh, if our feedback helps in the progress of making the stuff. But yeah, all amazing tracks uh, today. Thanks everyone for submitting them. Um, if you want us to do this again, let us know in the Get Feedback channel. And if you're tuning in from TikTok, check the bio to join and join us. We're uh, we're we're constantly giving feedback in there mm -hmm. and lots of cool music's posted mm -hmm. it's a great community of people that are kind of getting in and mm -hmm. uh, yeah we just passed 500 um members yeah it's free yeah it's, it's free. a great community you don't need a lander plan to be in the lander community you don't need to always have your artist links like if your music's on soundcloud or spotify like post it there like get feedback if you're yeah. in the progress like this is very like don't feel like you have to have studio to be in the community channels like just be in the community channels like yeah we're very inclusive uh, also speak whatever language you want i was speaking portuguese the other day with a guy like do what do whatever's comfortable you want to post in french or swedish joaquim like <laughs> yeah we'll <laughs> get yeah we'll get to it yeah, yeah we'll get to we'll still get to it yeah, like yeah. um i can kind of do some of these languages and uh yeah let us know yeah it's really important to just let us know in the get feedback channel that you're looking forward to the next live stream mm -hmm. and we'll keep doing them as long as uh, you guys are here to if there is a demand you know? We will be there. Yeah. Um, John's Johan says, this method seems very convenient, guys. Cheers. I'm Mexican, but Spanish speaking wasn't good to post here. Yeah, you can post in Spanish. I can, I can, can't give you feedback in Spanish, but I know what you'll be wanting. <laughs> well, it'll be like a translate the translate deal. So whatever is easier for you, if mm -hmm. English is fine, that's great. Uh, do you guys do SoundCloud wrappers? Yeah, post anything yep. you want in there. Yeah, yeah. W uh, WAV files are just easier. Yeah, um, because uh, the internet in our streaming studio. <laughs> well, I have the I have direct it's, connection, yeah. but it's just easier for us on the interface. To yeah, because Spotify the... just gives you a preview. But yeah, post what you want, like wherever yeah. your music is. Um, hit us up. Yeah. Uh, please do feedback for the next song also. <laughs> all right <laughs> there's yeah there's there's lots of stuff there's here. lots of stuff we will we will get to it um next time but yes. uh you know keep s sending songs in the channel and we will get to them yes. either through text or on the stream yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh we, you know we're happy to do this with you all so mm -hmm. uh, thank you um so much for tuning in and I'll, I'll play one of them on the way out um and maybe Yo I'll, Johan Daniel yeah not sure how to go with the uh, I kind of want to, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, I'm going to need time to dig in. <laughs> is that where we, is that where we start next time? Yeah, we're going to start okay. with this next time. Everyone remember this. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks again, guys. Yeah, thank you. And uh, have a good weekend. Thanks yeah. for tuning in. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.